Hello class, this is a video tutorial on the auxiliary angle identities. In this video, we're going to show examples of converting functions of this form into one of the four given identities here. Now, in regular problems, you will not be given which um, of the identity to convert to. So it would be up to you to figure out which of these four to select. And to do that, you need to figure out which is most appropriate in the current problem. But for now, I'm just going to demonstrate to you how we might actually convert these into the given uh, form stated. So at any time, you can pause and give this a go yourself. Okay, so here we go. Now for the first two, just to show you how quick it, it can be, I'm going to utilize these two um, facts of the auxiliary angles to show you how to convert these very quickly. So first we can figure out that, well, A is square root three and B is one. So R is square root three squared. So now I'm utilizing this statement here. So square root three squared is three. 1 squared is 1. That's nice and simple now. This is going to be square root of 4, which is 2. We also saw that tan of alpha is b on a, which is 1 on square root 3. And I hope you've memorized this. Well, that's, that's going to be 30 degrees. Or if you don't want to, it's going to be in radians, pi on six. So it doesn't really matter which one you use, but for this, I'm going to utilize both. So now, now that we have what R is and our alpha value, you can say that this expression, let's make this blue, is equal to, let's go down where it's here, equal to two sine of x plus 30 degrees, or in radians, two sine of x plus pi on six. And there we have it, nice and simple. The same thing can happen for this. So we begin straight away, r is going to be three squared plus four squared, that's 25. So r is equal to five. Tan of alpha is going to be four on three, taking only the positive of these. Alpha is going to equal to uh, inverse of tan, four and three. So let's use our calculator here. So inverse of 10, four thirds, writing this to the nearest minute, we get 53 degrees, eight minutes. So this expression is equal to five, whoops, cause of x minus 53 degrees, eight minutes. Hope you can see how simple it is. Right. Now, um, in the next two examples, I'm going to demonstrate to you um, how to do this. If you would have forgotten um, this, I, this, these ideas here, and rather than work from the left hand side, we actually utilize the right hand side and work to prove the identity itself. I'll demonstrate to you what I mean. Just as we did in the proof, I work with the right hand side here. So we get R, so I'm going to, I'm going to expand this um, identity. Get R cos x cos alpha minus sine x sine alpha 
expanding this, we get r cos alpha cos x minus r sine alpha sine x. Now, we've stated here that this expression is going to equal this expression here. Now, comparing coefficients, we can see that r cos alpha is equal to 4, which means cos of alpha equals 4 on r. And for this one, we can see, and comparing coefficients again, see sine x is equal to sine x. But r sine alpha is equal to 7. So doing the same thing, r sine alpha is equal to 7, which means sine of alpha is equal to 7 on r. Now, this is a right angle triangle, which we can draw up here. And alpha can be in any position. Let's just say it's here. The, uh, the hypotenuse here is going to be r. And from here, we can see cos of alpha is 4 on r. And sine of alpha is 7 on r. And from here, we can see that r squared is equal to 4 squared plus 7 squared. And r is going to be the square root of whatever that value is. So using our calculator, 16 plus 49 is going to be 65. Square root 65, does that simplify? Nope, that's our r value. That's the r value we're going to use. And from here, we found this is square root 65. We can utilize any sine, cos, or tan to figure out what the value of alpha is. Now from here, we can see that tan of alpha is 7 on 4. Alpha is inverse of tan, 7 on 4. Calculator again, inverse, 7 on 4. To the nearest uh, minute, I get alpha is 60 degrees and 15 minutes. So this expression is equal to square root 65, and they wanted it in cos. So square root 65 cos of x minus 60 degrees in 15 minutes. Now, this seems a much longer way to do it, but I hope you can see that I'm only utilizing the identities found using cos, or in the next one, we're gonna utilize sine. But notice how with this, I don't really need to memorize what these are, because we're actually doing it here with just regular um, algebra. Okay, so let's do one last example here. You can pause and give this a go or fast forward. So taking this expression and expanding it using our identities, we get r sine x cos alpha minus sine alpha cos of x. So from here we get r. Uh, cos alpha sine x minus r sine alpha cos of x. And now we're going to match the coefficients. This one matches with this. So we can conclude here that, um, whoops, that r cos of alpha equals 3, and r sine of alpha equals 2. Now notice how 
it's already a negative, so it's matching the coefficient. Then from here, we just utilize just regular um, uh, Pythagoras and right angle trigonometry. Cos alpha is three on R, sine and alpha is two on R. Same as before, we utilize a right angle triangle where alpha is any angle here or here. Cos of alpha is three on R and sine of alpha is two on R. And from here we can see that R is going to be nine plus four, which is square root of 13. Mm -hmm. So just, just doing some quick mental math there. And tan of alpha is two on three, which means tan alpha well, I think you get the idea. I'm just going to use a, utilize a calculator here. Tan inverse of two on three to the nearest minute, we get 33 degrees and 41 minutes. So we can conclude that this expression is equal to square root 13 sine of x minus 33 degrees and 41 minutes. So I hope that gave you an insight into how we can utilize um, the facts of the auxiliary angle as well as derive the um, the, the, the same facts of the auxiliary angles just using basic trigonometry and algebra. So I hope that gave you an insight into auxiliary angle identities. Hope to see you in the next video. Best of luck.